Let's get this figured out This world gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Family be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn they love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for keeps Madden Heads YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video. And today, I know y'all probably wondering, what in the world was that 20 clip doing in there? But we're going to show you how to body up a little bit. Just wanted to show y'all that I was doing it in 20. Same thing here. The key to bodying up is the throw positioning couple little you know little in between things but we're going to discuss all that because we were doing this again in 20 we're doing this all day long i, I am not new to to this um basically what bodying up entails is is when you and the defender probably arrive at the spot somewhere close to the same time and you are forced to to use a little bit of uh, shielding and stacking techniques or physicality in order to get the ball into the hands of the receiver. Um, one main key for for uh, bodying up is when you click on, you must hit the L2 button. L2 on Madden is like the brakes. This is how you get control of the receiver. This is how you stop stop his momentum. You're able to turn him around on defense. It's the strafe button on offense. It's kind of a similar thing um, and has kind of similar effects if you can time it out. Um, the main thing is to get the positioning and the timing that you go for the football. Let me say that one more time. The timing that you animate to the football, meaning the time. Not only do you have to get to the spot. But the time that you animate, if you can go up for the ball before the um, before the defender gets there or you're already up and down in your animation before the defender goes into his animation to knock the ball out. Generally, you're going to hold on to the ball. Let's Madden's doing Madden. So in that case, in order to body up, what you have to do is when you click on, you actually want to slightly pull the stick into the defender's body as you hit the the catch button to go up for the ball so let me say that again you want to pull the stick slightly towards the defender and go up for the ball at the same time it, don't, it has to work one in the same so you see that little hesitation step there that's l2 that's slowing down generally when you slow down you will create a, a, a sort of shielding or post up effect, depending upon how big your receiver is, but, you know, uh, in comparison to the defensive back. So if like I've said before, the tight ends are great, great, great tools to, to body up um, because the tight ends normally always have a, a physical mismatch against uh, whoever's defending them nine times out of ten. Even on the outside receiver, you see him getting jammed up. Look at me. Uh. And it's all about positioning and animating to the football. The timing, again, the timing at which you hit the button. Let's say if if me and an, an opponent of mine are going for the ball at the same time, if I have better positioning and I hit the button at a more advantageous time as the ball arrives, then I'm going to get the catch. Just like that. It's easy money. And so we're going to go into practice mode a little bit and just show you guys a couple of little different um, techniques. I think my, my formatting is all off on this. This is pissing me off, the big screen thing. But all right. But we're going to jump off into practice mode real quick. Um, this won't be a long video. And basically, like I said, it's throw, click on L2. As soon as I click on, I'm on the L2, and generally when we do this and we try to body up, that's what we normally get. We get a, a decent animation, but not really 
you know, any retention in terms of the catch. OK, so that's me timing it out a little better. Sometimes you got to cut yourself a little bit short of the spot and, and make sure that you're animating and going up for the football at the right time. Because if you hit it in the sweet spot, just like that, you will get the ultimate animation for situation. So that means that if I hit it at the sweet spot as the ball is arriving, say as you see the click on, look at me, pull, I'm pushing the stick towards the defender, but I'm animating and going up. I'm hitting hitting the, um, what am I want to call this? The aggressive catch button before he's able to go into his defensive animation. Again, you want to go into your and you want to beat the defender to the top of the animation point. Here's another example. When I click on L2 and right there, there's the there's the positioning right there. You can see it nice and slow. I'm going to kind of slightly jump back into him a little bit forward and we get the dive animation and you see how I'm able to hold him off and shield the defender. A lot of times we can get the ball into these places. It's just a matter of us doing the proper things that we need to do in order to um, assure a catch or, or get the best opportunity at a catch, even on the deep ball right there. We get a lot of that. So again, on throw, once I get to, I see the ball start to come down. When I click on, I am going to throw myself back into the defender and go up with the aggressive catch at the same time. So it's basically click on L2 stick and whatever your catch button of choice is. So click on L2 for the slowing down, controlling with the stick, go up. It's, it's really simple. It's, it's, it's not a whole lot of complicated stuff to this. This is just really football. So as you see right here, once again, when I click on, watch the L2. That's me with the half strafe body positioning and elevate. We both actually probably went up at the same time that time. And as you see the guy, uh, the defender going up at the same time, we kind of both got the same animation. Uh, he's a big corner, but that's an even bigger receiver uh, who has does have spectacular catching, catching traffic and all that kind of stuff. So again, click on. Once you click on, balls arriving, time the jump if you're jumping. So stick into the defender. The L2 is automatically going to slow you down. The L2 is going to slow you down. So the modifier still does work somewhat uh, in certain situations. You just can't run with the ball in the modifier. You, 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 you know what happens. All right. So at this point right now, and fellas, stop trying to throw the ball over top of defenders who are over top of you. That just doesn't work. I, I'm, I'm, I have to tell people that a lot. And it's like, if the guy's over the top of you, throw the ball underneath to put yourself in a position to make the catch in front of the guy. So as you saw there, good body up, good positioning. Uh, I love this one. That's, that's just the bully move right there. That is a flat out bully move. He went, sought, the, sought out the contact and actually moved the guy off, further off the spot than he already was. So once again, it is as simple as dropping back, getting your feet set, making sure that you get a good, clean, solid throw of holding that lead once again. Also, another little thing, um, if you're throwing a deep ball down the field, using the L, the low touch really does help in bringing the ball down and getting it to a position where you can actually go up and make a play. Watch here. Once again, that bully move, stick into the defender and up at the right time. It is a timing mechanism. Anyway, man, uh, appreciate you guys. Coach DC, man, I am out.